the National Rifle Association, America's foremost advocate of Second Amendment rights, reveals the fascinating true stories behind the treasured firearms of real Americans. Both the iconic and obscure brands in firearms history come to life on Guns and Gold. Three evaluators. I can say honestly, I've never seen another one even like it before. I'll be darned. Yeah. We'll examine your guns and gold. Everybody who's seen the Terminator movies has to have one of these. The only design in our country's history where the coin image was impressed. And discover the features that make them unique. These are called party leader grips that were personally presented by Hitler. Oh, man. Learn the individual stories of each item's owner. It might have been the murder weapon. It very well could have been. The GI had brought it home from Germany. And ultimately experience the excitement. $9,500. Wow. Twelve to $18,000 range. Or the disappointment. I'm afraid it might not have been the best buy in the world. As these collectors find out what their prized possessions are worth. It's still better than what I gave for it. Boy, if you were armed with one of these, uh, you, you were good to go. Uh, we're conserving firearms for the future. We're telling the stories of Americans. None other than Hank Williams, Jr. Hank, I hear you struck gold today. This is a piece of American gun making at its best. We're able to help clear up some misunderstandings that people might have. Don't clean your coins yourself. If a gun is old, it doesn't necessarily mean it's valuable. This is the hard one to find. Then write me a check. Look at that, folks. This is a Winchester factory cutaway. There were two of these manufactured. $100,000, $100,000. Sold for $80,000. It has all the bells and whistles. It looks like something in Flash Gordon, doesn't it? Guns and Gold, coming January 2012, only on Sportsman Channel.